At Mobile International Festival, there were 70 different countries represented, and you really get a feel on how diverse Mobile actually is. Well, South Alabama is well represented here at the International Fest. We have uh, several foreign language students I've talked to and the Department of International Studies as well. Well, we're with the Department of International Education, and so if anything in Mobile is going on that is about multiculturalism or being aware of different cultures and languages, we want to be a part of it. So that's why we have our booth set up and we're raising awareness about our department and what we do. Mobile International Festival is an event that's been happening here in the city of Mobile for 30 years. And they're trying to promote international awareness. Um, so they bring in students from grade schools, high schools, um, to visit the different booths. Um, that are all set up representing countries. And then today, um, Saturday, is open to the public. And it seems everyone had their favorite portion of the festival. The food. The food, definitely. definitely. Yeah. A lot of faculty here from the University of South Alabama. I te teach introductory French at South. I lived in France in Tours, uh, where I studied, and then I lived in Brussels, Belgium. Students definitely need to study abroad. Uh, it, it makes concrete everything you learn in the classroom. When you go to, to France or any country and you study in the culture and the language, you sort of understand all together. I've taken school trips to Spain and to Chile, and I studied abroad in France this past summer. Not only did um, all of those trips in, improve my language skills in French and Spanish, but I also became more of a, a confident person, just knowing that I can go to a different country and be able to hold my own and just get international experience. Jameson Crabtree, Vanguard on Air.